So right now in the multiverse saga, we're getting to the point to where most of the projects that are going to be coming out are going to all be incredibly important for the story going into Avengers Doomsday, Spider-Man 4, and Avengers Secret Wars. And of course, a couple of other really important movies building up to those as well, and some hidden movies. One that we believe has not been officially released yet, which we still believe is Doctor Strange 3, but Marvel hasn't officially revealed this mystery movie yet. But where we're at in the MCU right now, if one of the major projects that affects the story going into any of the Avengers films gets delayed, then that could be a problem for every other movie that comes after it. Now, right now, we're not really too concerned with such projects like Ironheart or Wonder Man or Daredevil Born Again. We are excited for these shows, but as far as how much they're going to connect into the Avengers films, we're just not that sure. But it's more along the lines when you get to Captain America Brave New World, which is supposed to establish a new Avengers team, or at least mention that they're coming together, in which we've already heard in the trailers released at D23, the scene where President Ross literally tells Sam Wilson to get the Avengers back together. Then the Thunderbolts are supposed to be a part of the new Avengers movies as well. So if they got delayed, it might affect things for Avengers Doomsday and Secret Wars. And one big one, of course, and possibly the biggest one outside of the two Avengers films is Spider-Man 4. Peter Parker slash Spider-Man is going to be one of the lead characters in Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars, and his film is coming out right in the middle of Doomsday and Secret Wars. So if something happens to it, that might affect the release date for Avengers Secret Wars. And unfortunately, we have recently heard that Spider-Man's release date might be delayed. This is coming from industry insider Jeff Snyder, who recently on the Hot Mike podcast with John Rocha said that he had heard that Spider-Man 4 might be getting delayed, and then he basically said he would be shocked if it kept its release date. Now, this could be bad news, but I actually think it might kind of be good news, and I'll explain why. Well, for starters, Jeff Snyder says that he has heard that filming for Spider-Man 4 is not going to begin on schedule. That he's heard that that's probably not going to happen until late 2025 or early 2026. And considering it has a mid-2026 release date right now, that would be really hard to make, especially if you consider Avengers Doomsday is coming out just a couple of months before, May 1st. So one could see how that could be a problem. Now, he was specifically asked if this is going to affect the release date for Avengers Secret Wars, and he said he didn't know. He said he had no idea. But the fact of the matter is, if Spider-Man 4 gets pushed back enough, then of course it can affect the release date for Avengers Secret Wars. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that it has to if it's not delayed by too much. And if it's not delayed by too much, I actually think we're looking at kind of an ideal situation here. Since Spider-Man 4 comes out just months after Avengers Doomsday, it does have a little bit of wiggle room until Avengers Secret Wars, which is coming out a year later, May 7th, 2027. Actually, 10 months later. It comes out pretty much exactly one year after Avengers Doomsday and 10 months after Spider-Man 4, which I would say gives Marvel about six months of wiggle room for Spider-Man 4, which also means that it gives us fans about six months of wiggle room after Avengers Doomsday as well before they start to consider pushing back that release date for Avengers Secret Wars. Because what they could do is simply target the Christmas moviegoers. Yes, the summer is a big time for movies, but Christmas time also is as well, the holiday season. And it mirrors summer just a little bit in the fact that schools are out. So kids and teenagers and people in college and also people who work teaching jobs, they're all out of school. So these people can flood the theaters for a huge blockbuster film. So if this film is delayed, it would make sense that it would be pushed back to December of 2026. And I I actually think that might be kind of an ideal scenario because we would have Avengers Doomsday coming out May 1st, 2026. Then only seven months later, we would have Spider-Man 4 come out in December. Then five months later, we would have Avengers Secret Wars come out in May of 2027. 
This would actually be kind of an ideal situation because there wouldn't be too much time in between all of these very, very important movies. That's really better than having to wait a whole year in between things to see what happens next. Instead, we'd only have to wait five months. And many different insiders have stated at this point in time that the events that take place in Spider-Man 4 are going to take place in the timeline of the MCU between Doomsday and Secret Wars, meaning Spider-Man 4 is not going to be a prequel to Doomsday. Yes, the release date is after Doomsday, but sometimes the release date doesn't coincide with the timing of the events inside of the MCU, but we are hearing that that is not the case. The events of Spider-Man 4 take place after the events of Avengers Doomsday, which means by the time that we get into Spider-Man 4, Peter Parker slash Spider-Man should have already seen Doom slash the person who looks exactly like Tony Stark, his mentor. I mentioned this because one, it's a good thing to know, but two, obviously Spider-Man 4 has to happen before Avengers Secret Wars. We're not going to have Spider-Man 4 be pushed after Secret Wars happens. That's just never going to happen. That's not even a question, which means, unfortunately, the other side of this coin is that if it does get delayed too much, Secret Wars can and will get pushed back. Now, as far as we're concerned, and Kevin Feige recently confirmed this in an interview at D23 Brazil, the only thing that is really happening at the end of Phase 6 is Avengers Doomsday, Spider-Man 4, and then Avengers Secret Wars. He said those three movies are huge. He said they're working on two of the biggest Avengers movies of all time, Doomsday and Secret Wars, obviously, and then there's a Spider-Man movie in between. And he said that's where all of his attention is going. So that leads us to believe that that's kind of it. Those are the last three movies. Again, we are expecting either a Doctor Strange 3 or Scarlet Witch Project or something to come out before Doomsday. But as far as after Doomsday, that's all we believe is coming. Spider-Man 4 and then Secret Wars. Now, the fact that Spider-Man 4 might be delayed means that they're probably still working on that script. And Tom Holland, to be fair, over the past couple of months where he's done a lot of interviews for his new alcoholic-free beer company, Biro, has been talking about Spider-Man a lot. And one thing that he has said is, one, that he loves it, but two, the script still has some things they need to work on. So he's already told us very blatantly, very upfront that the Spider-Man script is pretty good, but it's not there yet. There are some things that they need to get down. And based off of all of the rumors and reports that we've been hearing, it sounds like they really are trying a lot of different ideas, whether that's going to be street level, or that's going to be Null and Venom entering the MCU for that film, or whether it's just Peter Parker getting the Venom symbiote at first, Maybe he dies, the symbiote saves him, he creates a codex, and the next Spider-Man movie, Null comes for him. Who knows? We've heard a lot. Recently, Kevin Feige even stated that a live-action Miles Morales is going to be coming to the MCU. He said he hopes shortly after Beyond the Spider-Verse. So that means that maybe a Miles Morales could be teased in Spider-Man 4. It seems like there's just a lot that they're considering and a lot that could happen and they simply haven't nailed it down yet but hopefully they do pretty soon and it's not delayed and we keep all the release dates the same but the report from jeff snyder said that he would be shocked if it keeps that release date so if that ends up happening and it's pushed back a little bit hopefully it's pushed back to december and we don't have to push back avengers secret wars the ending of the multiverse saga of the mcu and where reportedly we'll get that soft reboot of the mcu so as always if i hear anything else i'll be sure to do an update on it it's not delayed yet but I would expect something to happen just so you're not caught off guard. If nothing happens and it stays the same, awesome. But if something does happen, we're not too thrown off because we kind of knew. And again, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell because I'll be sure to do an update if I hear anything else. And of course, please do not forget to like this video and leave your comments about this in the comments down below. You can also find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.